good YouTube, this is your man Uncle Demi and I'm here once again with a special banger for you. I have volume 76 and this is the Slasher build. And my nephews and nieces, I want you to hear me very loud and clear when I say this. This is the best guard build in the rare build community. 100%, hands down, no debate. Because this build right here does anything and everything that you want. And oh my God, does it play defense. This is a slashing. This is a slashing playmaker. This is the two-way slashing playmaker. This is the midway, the mid-range playmaker. This is, damn it, I don't, every build that you can think of, man, this is like all wrapped in one. It, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And this is this will be my next build that I'm working on. My nephews and nieces. This will be the next one. So let's get excited for that, man. We're going to have to bring out a new build. I'm about to take this thing in the lab. And I'm going to show you why I'm so excited about this thing. Y'all ready to check this out? So you want to use the playmaking and defensive pie chart for this one. Right? And then you want to bring the speed, the acceleration, and the vert. You want to use this pie chart. And the reason being is because you want to get that vert as high as you possibly can. All right. So that's what we're trying to get to. We're trying to get that vert as high as we can. So 94 vert. All right. And here what you want to do is you want to max out your top three. And then you want to go ahead and go 41 right here. So that gives you 12 finishing badges. Then you want to go here and max out all this. And then you'll get a 70. On your post fade, a 83 in your free throw, a 67 on your three point, and a 72 on your um your mid range, but you get 10 shooting badges. All right, now check this one out. Then you want to go 75 here, and then want to max all this out. All right, then you want to go 76 here. That's gonna give you 16 playmaking badges. Then you want to go ahead and, and um go 75 on your perimeter, and then max out all the rest of this. All right, and that's gonna give you 14 defensive badges. So are you, you, what you're going to see, and better yet, before I get into it, let me go ahead and just get this out right here, 6'5". You want to go 175, all right? And then you want to drop your wingspan to 79.8. So now let's talk, all right? First of all, you get an 86 ball handle, all right? So you're baiting up the speed boost off rip, okay? So let's just get that out the way. Secondly, you get an 87 driving dunk. So that means you get all the contact dunks off rip, right? Then you're on top of that, you get a 73 mid-range and a 68 three-point shot, all right? You have 10 shooting badges. Is there anything else to discuss? <laughs> Is there anything else to discuss? A 91 speed, 94 acceleration, and a 95 vert. Are you kidding me? This is a very toxic build, my, oh my God. Are you serious? If this thing walks on the court and say slasher, first of all, you're automatically going to assume they can't shoot. And uh, yeah, you might want to play defense um, out the perimeter because um, we're definitely greeting them shots out there. You understand what I'm saying? You're thinking slasher and you're like, okay, this dude's a slasher. But then all of a sudden you see him speed boosting up and down the court. I'm like, man, what is this? It's not even a playmaker. It's a slasher. So the thing is, is that like this build is very deceiving because the fact is that you're not going to think that this build can shoot. But this build can shoot. This build is very toxic. All right. And I like how this thing pain. Oh, pain. <laughs> I like how this thing came out, man. It is extremely fun build. I am not going to lie. I've been playing around with it a little bit. And um, I was like, you know, it's about time to go ahead and bring this thing on out. Let me go ahead and drop this vid. So here we are. You're going to get this slasher build. Now, let me go ahead and go here real quick. Now, you can do two things. Well, I can say three, I guess. Like, you can go between these three. But you know Uncle Demi's old head. And um, <clears throat> you know we like to slash a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit, Coach. Just a little bit, Coach. All right, so we're going to hit that slasher real quick. Damn. How are you going to be a slasher and I have slash and takeover? That's what I want to talk about. And here you go, man. And this even brings up Kobe Bryant? What? Kobe Bean Bryant? The second greatest shooting guard of all time. And you know what's funny? This is prime Kobe Bryant. This is prime Kobe Bryant. This is Kobe Bryant with the little fro. Number eight. Coming straight out of high school. All right? 18 years old. I say between 18 and 25. 
actually a little bit lighter than that, man. Kobe was still doing his thing. He, and Kobe, if you, listen, if y'all don't remember Kobe, man, Kobe used to have the crazy crossover, man. He had that crazy wide crossover, and he was so quick, and he will dunk on you. If you don't, listen, I know y'all, y'all this old, this younger generation, don't, y'all remember Kobe Bryant, number 24, with the bad knees and all that type of stuff, back to the basket. I'm trying to tell you right now, if you go ahead and look up Kobe Bryant, right? You look up Kobe Bryant right now on YouTube and you bring up Kobe Bryant's highlights or dunks or whatever, you're going to get, you're going to be like, man, I ain't know Kobe could do it like that. This is perfect for, this is Kobe Bryant. This is crazy. I didn't even know that. I didn't even pay attention to that. <laughs> so it got me a little excited. If you don't know, I'm a diehard Lakers fan. Shaquille O'Neal is my favorite um, player, of course. And um, of course, so by association, I love Kobe. I love Kobe, right? So let's go ahead and get this over. So you want to go contact finisher here, all right? You definitely want to go fancy footwork. You definitely want to go slithery finisher. And then you probably want to go pro touch, all right? I think those would be the best because what's going to happen is, is that pro touch really helps you when, you, when you're um, for having a good time in layup. So it's going to give you a little boost, all right? So if you're right there, it's going to boost you a little bit to make sure your layups go in. And if you wanted to go away from pro touch, then also I think you should go giant slayer. Actually, you know what? Giant slayer would be good. All right, let's go giant slayer. All right, so fancy footwork, giant slayer, and actually avoiding contact. Uh, it's tough. You can go acrobat. Okay, just keep it like that. But I'm thinking um, pro touch is so good though. So good, man. Um, just keep it like this. But um, if, if I would say if you want to change anything, definitely do pro touch and acrobat. Those are some badges that you could change, right? Um, but again, it's your build. Do it any way you want to. Um, you have 12 badges to play with, all right? For your shooting badges, you want to go quick draw. You got to get your range extender. That's the most important one. Um, definitely catch and shoot, right? That is very important. And then the last one, you want to go hot zone hunter, right? Um, if you do not, if you don't like um, quick draw on silver, then you want to get the gold. Then I'll say drop that and then go here, all right? But that's all you really need, man, to be honest with you. As long as you have range extender extended out, you already have a 72 mid-range. So if you have range extender, your threes will be pretty much in the 70s. It's going to be pretty good. If you have your point guard that has um, dimer, you got to make sure he has dimer. Listen, if you run with point guard, he don't have Hall of Fame dimer on. So I'm like, why are you so selfish, man? Why are you so selfish, bro? Like, for real. Like, go ahead and put that Hall of Fame dimer on there, okay? Um, make sure someone, if, if, if you can go ahead, slide in that floor general, too. I need that plus four, right? <laughs> Help her brother out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give me them attributes. You know what I'm saying? So we can cook up. So yeah, man. Definitely want to get that. But this will be the setup I'll say. If you um if you don't have your hot zones, um, get them. You'll get them if you play enough, you'll get them. Um, but I wouldn't I would recommend getting your quick draw, range extender, catch and shoot first, get hot zone last, because by that time you should have your hot zones. All right? Playmaking badges, you definitely want to go handles for days. You want to go quick first step. And you definitely want to go diamond. Whoa, mm, 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 mm. Nope, you don't want to go diamond. You could go diamond if you needed it, right? All right. Then you want to go tight handles, all right? Um, because that's going to help you. And then the last thing you want to do is go ankle breaker, all right? So those are the things that I will be. I'll say that you should get. This will help you out a lot if you're going to be um, cooking up. You're basically will be. A, you could run the point. Like that's the cool thing about this. If you're running the point, then I would say take the ankle breaker off, go diamond. All right, you always gotta have that dimer, guys, to help your your team out, man. So don't be selfish. All right, so go dimer. All right, um, I definitely say handles and days and quick first step needs to be Hall of Fame. If you want to try to get this and then maybe go here, unpluckable or whatever. I know a lot of times certain dribble styles leaves you more vulnerable to getting plucked. I'm gonna be honest with you. All right, so just understand if you're that ball handler that gets plucked a lot. Unpluckable Hall of Fame is not going to help you. I know people unpluckable Hall of Fame and we get plucked because they're doing so much. You know when you have that long hesitation in between and it shows all those dots going across you that lets you know you're very vulnerable. If you keep on having that so many times, man, you're going to get plucked no matter what. You don't even need you don't even need pickpocket to get that. You get plucked. All right. All right. So clamps, you want to get clamps on gold. I mean, I'm sorry, Hall of Fame, Intimidator Hall of Fame. All right. Those are a must. Okay. And then the last two to me. Oh, so we go here, you go interceptor, you can go pickpocket, all right? And then the last one, what was I thinking? I forgot, I'm not sure, I think, oh yeah, rebound chaser, all right? So those are the ones, because you do have defensive rebound, it's pretty high, so go ahead and get yourself some rebound, all right? So this would be the setup, as you can see, man, to have Hall of Fame clamps, Hall of Fame intimidator. If you're running the point, 
then maybe you want to go here pick dodger maybe you want to go like this all right because i'm definitely running the point it, it gets tiring and even i would say that you know maybe go here talus defender is really important also um there's so many badges you can get that's why it's so good to hit legend man you hit legend you're going to be oh my god listen you hit legend on these builds you you are a god like it's crazy i'm just sitting here thinking about it like, 10 extra badges what you could get you know what i'm saying you get get pick dodger hall of fame Tyler's the defender hall of fame you can go ahead and get rebound chaser hall of fame and then maybe get interceptor on silver and like this is a lot that you can get so anywho since we're just limited to what we have just work it just like that all right again use your imagination figure out how you play and then go ahead and make it work for you understandable all right so there you have it guys this is the slasher build right we got 10 20 30 40 50 52 badges with this build that's not bad at all 52 badges is not bad at all right so this is an extremely solid build hopefully you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed the video you know what you need to do please subscribe up please like the video so we can get this thing pushed to recommend where i'm recommended um as you know as usual i am grinding my behind off for y'all for y'all only for my nephews my nieces for this rare beer movement i'm starting to see more and more rare bills out there and that's because of y'all y'all are really kind of starting to come behind me and starting to see that listen this rare build community we definitely have a presence and we don't need to walk around playing with these huge meta builds and everybody has these builds let's be different and that's what we're doing we are 100 different and i'm extremely proud of the movement i'm extremely proud of y'all of how y'all been holding it down man so hopefully y'all are enjoying this ride also please continue to send me um information on different builds that you have follow me on twitter follow me on instagram send me messages i will respond back there hasn't been one message i have not responded to and i get lots of them all right so hopefully y'all continue to send mess um send me different builds so i continue to get this channel rocking and rolling i do have another series coming up which i know y'all gonna really enjoy so let's sit back and relax guys because there's so much more to come and as usual your man uncle demi will be back really really soon and when i say really soon y'all know what i'm talking about man i'm talking about i'll be back tomorrow all right <laughs> If he call for a low, we gon' give it to him Take the stop out the top of no transformer Man, we're duckin' and dodging on that corner Doin' flip with a breeze like a mighty morpher Tell myself to get rich and go help